Hello everybody and welcome back once again. I've decided to do episode 3 before I upload anything else because I'm really enjoying this campaign and we've had some pretty damn cool battles. So here we are with episode 3 and we're going to try out this diplomatic meeting function. It's not really something that I've ever tried before so let's see how that goes. Uh, what is it? F2? Diplomatic meeting summoned. The meeting will play, take place at our kingdom next season. I feel like the only person who's really going to respond to that is going to be our only ally, and that's Thranduil. So we could have like a nice little like Elven Crusade here. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what we're going to do with it. We might use it against Goblin Town. I think that'd be kind of cool to uh, to like permanently kind of weaken the power of the of the goblins in the Misty Mountains. Put a nail in that particular coffin. Uh, down here, we still have not taken this little orc castle. But I feel like we don't. We can just wait it out. It's only a couple turns, and there's no really no reason to assault the walls and lose a bunch of troops. So let's play with our building stuff here. We're gonna start pumping out a few more, a few more different kinds of units, and we can start actually creating uh, armies that are not skirmish armies, like you know, for the purpose of fighting some of the more imposing orcish factions, or for who knows, taking the fight to Mordor itself. So, in order to do that, we are going to need a solid financial base, which I feel like we have right now. But that'll be the load order, or the build order for that settlement for the next, like, 20 or so turns. Mm. But um, some other interesting things that we can that I can tell you about Lorien. Um, well, it's not about Lorien specifically, but more just, you know people who have interacted there. I mentioned earlier that uh, the Fellowship stopped here and that uh, Gladriel gave the Fellowship a number of gifts. Um, if you haven't read the Fellowship before and you've just seen the movie, I, I really suggest going and uh, and reading it because it's a lot more... Um, I think it's kind of one of the more uh, emotional kind of s stages in the book. Uh, Gladriel gives everybody a bunch of gifts and you, that you don't really hear about outside of the extended editions and only, even that only very briefly. Um, but Gimli and Legolas sort of this is kind of, I would say, like a turning point for the two of them when uh, when Gimli is so gracious towards this big elven lady despite, you know, his distrust of the elves in general. Um, it's a big turning point for the two of them, and that's when they really start to become uh, fast friends and, you know, the kind of friendship that's going to, you know, supersede, you know, like cultural boundaries and, and prejudice and things like that. So it's, it's a really... It's a really uh, good place it's it's kind of i guess you could call it a bit of a place of healing it's just it's it's uh yeah it's 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 just really important for uh the story and that sort of thing oh no the meeting failed <laughs> sometimes wasn't right to summon our allies fine we just took moria i mean come on that's a big deal but fine we don't really need you anyway bitches uh what do we got here okay Four is as many as we can have without losing, without it going. Um, uh, it's as many free upkeep units as we can have there. So that's a pretty, it's a pretty balanced army. Celeborn and his bodyguard, these two units, and then two units of sentries. So I think we're gonna leave it at that for a little while. Starts. Uh, oops. Start creating uh, some more military buildings in here really need this place to, to grow as quickly as we can. It's well on its track, like 5%. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys on the next turn. Oh, wonderful. So it looks like we're going to be taking the Holland Gate. So our control over the Southern Misty Mountains is... It's iron. There's there's no way that anyone is going to take these two major fortresses from us without, without a fight. So our heartland is protected. We have uh, kicked the goblins out of the Misty Mountains, and oh my god. God, what is that? Okay. I see how it is. Do you want some of this? Hmm? So, let's see. We've probably got... We're going to have to make a decision here. Uh, so we are going to abandon the Holland Gate that we just took. And we are going to fall back to Moria. I think that's the best decision we can make here because I don't think either of those are uh, are viable on their own, unfortunately. We can't defend both of them from that massive goblin horde that's coming to retake the city. Uh, these guys, however, have a very good chance. And apparently we've got a new family member here. So he's going to be our governor. We're going to use this guy to uh, take the battle to our enemies in the fields. But first we have to defend our 
our hard won gains. So back here we've got Haldir is making some new troops. Um, might be useful to have some more spearmen for that army. Another group of these guys, another group of archers. Send that up there right now. I'm going to start training the next one. Mm. Can our finances afford all of this? Yes, so far they can. Um, let's take a peek at what the rest of these goblins are doing. Uh, that's a really easily, easily taken settlement after we deal with this massive army right here. Hmm. All right, so we're going to see how this plays out in the next turn. I will see you guys on the campaign map. Hmm. Oh, no. Yeah, we know it's rioting. So we'll take these guys. Looks like our enemy decided to go and use some of those troops to cause some mischief, probably uh, in Rivendell. Not so good. I doubt the High Elves are prepared for this. However, that's fine. So we're going to move our troops in, restore order in Holland, and continue reaping the benefits of kicking the crap out of these goblin bastards. Uh, we really want to make that as soon as possible. Um, I probably should do that next, because I doubt we have a whole lot of culture here right now. No, very, very few. 8%, not quite enough to do anything with. Hmm. So, preparations are going very well. We're going to have a new farm coming up pretty quick here. And it looks like they might be raising... Woo. So, some of these look like survivors from a battle... Uh, these two in particular, probably a battle with the High Elves. I bet they got kicked out of uh, Rivendell, and now they're going to exact their revenge with that massive host. Uh, I want to keep an eye on that host. I want to... Can we get through here? Nope. Crap. <laughs> that kind of sucks. We're kind of blind on that side of the Misty Mountains. I would like to change that. Let's get another one of those spies. But in the meantime, let's move this guy over this way. See if we can't make nice with these fellows here. Mm. Let's try that. Wonderful. So we've got some diplomatic relations started with Dale, and we're going to hold out on the dwarves because you can usually get some nice uh, rewards for reward missions for um, beginning dip diplomatic relations with a faction you haven't seen yet. Uh, I guess that's not really necessary right now? Nope. So what we're going to do is this guy's going to come out. He's going to leave that fellow to his own devices. No! Need to learn the value of money, boy. So we're going to take these two out here, send them with him. He's okay. He's well guarded on that side. And we're going to start using uh, our remaining forces and the forces that are being raised at Karis Galathon here to... Uh, to take some of these these settlements over here before the orcs of the Misty Mountains have an opportunity to do that. And then we can kind of box them in and start uh, putting some more pressure on them. So that will do for that turn, I think. And I will see you guys in the campaign. Oh my lord! So it looks like they are bringing that, oof, that fairly imposing army around. They've probably got at least one unit of trolls in there too, in addition to their heavy infantry and their skirmishers and whatever. It's probably a pretty balanced army. Uh, and they have wargs, which is not good, which means we cannot take to the field with solely archers because they will get run down. Mm. Okay. No! That's not what I wanted to do. That's fine, though. So we're going to convene on the interior, in the in safe in the interior of the Golden Wood. So we have these guys as a bulwark, so if they try to come by, they're going to get jumped by, uh, the, by those wolves, presumably. And that's not good because it leaves the, the rear of this exposed, but I I think we can beat them. We just have to get some more... Uh... Hmm. Well, I'm not expecting an attack from there anytime soon. So I'm going to pull our forces away from there. Yes. And so we're going to move them towards the little, like, muster over in here, over in the inside of Lothlorien. I think that's the best thing we can do right now. Another one of those, some more archers. We're going to have, like, a mostly spearman and archer army for the initial kind of bits of this. Uh, and I think our finances can handle that, so we should be okay. I am worried about this, though. I mean, one big defeat in the field, and it can be all over for us, right? Because we... We're kind of concentrating a lot of our forces into this army. So we'll see how it goes, and I will see you guys uh, next turn.
Mm. All right. Start bringing our troops together here. Go. What? <laughs> God damn it. That's not what I wanted at all. Okay. It's a little crowded here in Lothlorien. Apparently we can't uh, scooch to the side to make room for our compatriots. How many archers do we have here? We have pretty decent amounts. I think... Oh, hello. Get in there. Yes. Two units. Soon to be three units of spearmen. And a couple units of our Lorian sentries. Mm, sentinels, whatever. Maybe that's enough. I am worried about their wargs, though, because those wargs can deal a lot of damage and really cripple a unit uh, very quickly and very easily. Especially light infantry, like what we have here. So I kind of want some more spearmen. I want at least four. That is my goal. But not one I am likely to fulfill anytime soon. So maybe I'll just have to deal with three. So that's, that's fine. Okay, so I'll see you on the next turn. Hmm. Well, it seems like this appeared on us again. Let's see if we can't find them. Oh, there they are. I really want to shadow this army. I want to. Can you do it? Yes! Did it work? Did he die? Awesome. <laughs> that makes me very happy. So now we know what they got in there. Yeah, one unit of trolls. Two units of trolls! As I had suspected, a lot of goblin infantry. Uh, fairly, fairly uh, highly ranked goblin, goblin infantry, even if they are the basic kind of line infantry for the goblins, and then a couple units of heavies, and those wargs have so many. <laughs> There's so many wargs. That's gonna be a problem. Um, okay, so we're gonna need more archers in order to effectively deal with that sort of army. Let's do this. Where are you at? Can you get over here? Yes. Alright, three units of spearmen, two units. I feel confident enough to take these guys on in the field. So I mean, we're actually going to have a proper field battle now. Da, 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 da. How's our finances doing? Surprisingly well, given the massive force that we have fielded right now. That makes me pretty happy. We missed something, though. It's okay. Hmm... Art gallery, and what do we want after that? Improved forest paths in the mountains? Sure, I'm going to do that just because it's weird. Um, what are the chances of this ever being a useful building? Never okay. It's just, just there to have, to make you a tiny bit of money. Hmm. Well, let's go over here and see if we can't uh, become buddy-buddy with the dwarves. I think we've managed... We did manage to get a uh, trade agreement with Dale earlier, so maybe the dwarves will be nice to us. Uh, map information. No? Oh, brilliant. So that's perfect. This guy's doing really well for himself. Promising diplomat. Bilingual, of course he is. He's an elf. Um, there we go. Although he is an elf out of Lothlorien. Uh, because they're so isolationist, they... Um, I would imagine that the rate of bilingualism amongst the Galadrim was probably not very high. Uh, I think Haldir was assigned to uh, the company to guide them and, you know, talk to them and things like that because he was one of the few that... I can't remember if he had actually traveled outside the borders or if he had just learned it somewhere. It seems more likely that he traveled outside of the borders of Lothlorien and then learned it in his uh, during his adventures, which are never really expounded upon. But I digress. He is assigned to them because he actually does speak their language, and most of them would probably speak, uh, I would imagine, Sindarin. It's probably the lingua franca. Uh, in fact, I'm, I'm quite sure it is. What's he doing? I wonder if we can catch them in the middle of a siege and just, like, have a three-way battle. I think that'd really make me happy. Uh, three-way with the goblins would be, that'd be pretty sexy, so let's see if we can do that. They don't even know what's coming for them, the fools. Uh, don't show me. I don't want to know. There we go. Trait increase. Debt agent. So he's doing pretty well. I th I'm positive we can beat them. It's just a matter of, like, I don't want to lose a whole bunch of elves in the process. 
And of course, Karis Galathon needs some garrison troops. Uh, so you do that. And then I'm going to send you. Mm. You can sit there for now. Okay. All right. So I will see you guys when we actually have an opportunity to fight with these uh, these Moria dogs. Damn it! So they've disappeared on us again. They've gone kind of off in the direction of Zagala. Yeah, there they are. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I don't really know what we should do. Uh, maybe we will take this city in the meantime. We'll fight these these despicable bandits here. We'll take a little bit more of extra territory, and then we will uh, we'll start dealing with these uh, with this massive army that's just kind of hovering around, being obnoxious. But I think they may have to wait for another episode. I was hoping we'd be able to catch them a little quicker, but it looks like they found us and they ran away. So that kind of sucks. They may have a spy or something in the area. I'm not too sure. But I hope you guys enjoyed episode three, and I will see you again very soon. Yes, we are going to get back. We're going to be getting back into the channel in like a really big way. So there's going to be a lot of new stuff. Probably, I want. I really want to do some horror games. I've been feeling a lot of horror games, something with a little bit of a more dark tone to them. Uh, darker than, you know, thousands of people kill killing each other on screen at the same time. I know, it's hard, but we'll find a way. I was hoping uh, Amnesia might be fun. I've also got a couple other things. We could do, like, a spooky Skyrim or something like that, where I can get a whole bunch of mods, you know, create a really nice atmosphere or, some, and, or something like that, and, you know, just base a series off of that. Uh, but let me know what you guys think, and I will see you again with, uh, hmm, I don't know what's going to come next. Probably Mountain Blade, but I hope you guys enjoy it. See you later. Bye!